Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kiyomi. So in this video, we are going to do a get ready with me. Um, let's chat, kind of. Um, I'm going to get ready for uni and I'm going to talk to you, like share my experience abroad because I was an exchange student in Belgium and it was quite a unique um, experience so I wanted to do this while I get ready so let's start okay so I didn't moisturize my face anything yet I have a tan um, my shoulders are in pain do you see this I just put some um, aloe um, gel because I cannot deal with this pain but um, I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm going to use this snail gel I got from Kruidvat. You can't really see the name. But it was very cheap, $1.99 and no, yeah, $1.99. And it really helps with moisturizing. So I do this. I saw a video that um, they say you don't have to, you have to tap it in your skin. So that's why I'm doing this. I really love this tan on me mm -hmm. but yeah so um, basically my exchange period was um, in the fall semester so um, I went to the Netherlands first because we had a family vacation there and then in September I went to Belgium because it's really close to ne the Netherlands so that's why we did it like that too next I'm going to use this also a Kruidvat no this is from Action I said Kruidvat I think no it, this is from Action this is from Kruidvat it's the Dag en Nacht Creme of the um, of tea tree okay so yeah basically we went to belgium i think it was the 12th of september um and we had our um apartment kind of there it was a double studio i shared it with my boyfriend and um i also have a um a, part, a studio tour now i remember that yeah so if you wanted to see like how the um, studio looked you can see it on my channel it was a vlog I think the Brussels one I'm not sure but yeah so um, it was very fun we had the introduction week um, we got to know a lot of people and there was also um, people from Aruba which is very close to Curacao so that was very fun um, and yeah I'm going to use this got to be glue for my eyebrows I can't really see so I'm going to put on my glasses back but yeah so we had introduction week there um, and there I met my two friends um, they are also on this channel um, one is from Belgium oh but her background is Congolese and but she lives in Belgium and the other one is from originally from Croatia but she lives in Germany Germany um, that was very fun to get to know different cultures you know their background and stuff and I would love to visit them one day I had seven different subjects courses and um, they were very fun um, there was one that was very challenging I would say that I passed all my classes that was really good but it was very challenging and I didn't like it at all so <laughs> that was very stressful for me and the other classes I really liked um, it was there was a favorite one which is um, visual design we practiced with Adobe there um, with Photoshop and um, InDesign I didn't um, had prior experience with InDesign but with Photoshop. I really love graphic design and stuff so um, that was the best part of the courses for me. So I have a background in finance because I do finance in Curacao and I did finance like 
yeah basically my whole life so that's why I wanted to switch up things and do something different I really um, realized that I love marketing or, or things that has to do with marketing lately um, I love to create videos so that that's basically what I wanted to do there but um, I didn't take the class of uh, video marketing because it was given at the same time as Dutch was given I thought about maybe um, I made a wrong decision that I had to do um, video marketing instead of Dutch but yeah it was too late everything happens for a reason so yeah and yeah so basically I didn't take that class but I really love things like that so that's why I took it um, all in all I think my experience was very very fun um, the, the fact that I got to know different people there was a highlight um, I got to travel like a lot um, so the traveling started when we were in the Netherlands um, we went to like the big cities there wait I, maybe I could mention some um, we went to so it was me and my boyfriend traveling all the time um, we went to Utrecht we went to Amsterdam like three times um, we went to Breda, we went to Eindhoven, we went to Tilburg, we went to Rotterdam, of course. Um, oh, how could I forget? Um, we went to Arnhem and Nijmegen. Nijmegen was my favorite. That was the first um, city we visited, like in the city hopping series. But that was my first, um, my favorite one. It's and it's still still okay so if i <laughs> if i think that um to, that i have to choose one city to live in in the netherlands it would be Nijmegen for sure but um no um yeah so basically that and then when we went to belgium we also traveled some um it wasn't really like one of my main goals to travel a lot in belgium like it was in the netherlands so yeah there was um interesting cities like um, Brussels, Antwerp, um, we stayed in Ghent, if you didn't know, um, what else, like they don't have really a lot of cities um, and I think Antwerp is kind of overrated, um, I went there like five times and no, I didn't like it anymore by the end of the day so yeah yeah so there are some um, nice cities that you could visit there that is not only Antwerp Brussels is also nice I mean I don't think that's that one is overrated though um, only Antwerp there are some other countries that you could visit um, that is near Belgium and we did that too we went to Luxembourg um what else of course we went to the netherlands again a few times we went to france we went to lille and paris we went to paris two times um it was very beautiful some people say that it's overrated but i still get surprised when i get there um every time because i feel like i'm in a movie so i really loved paris um, I also visited Barcelona when I was still in the Netherlands. It was a family vacation that was really nice. Oh, that's also in one of my vlogs. You could see that if you want to. Um, but yeah, um, all in all, what I've learned is um, that the cold weather is not for me. I'm not made for that. And I think one of the main causes are that I lived all my life in a hot weather country and that is not for me so my um, goal was to live abroad um, to experience the cold weather to know if I made for that or if I would like to move to a cold weather country later in the future because I didn't think to live my whole life in Curacao but Mm -mm, that's not for me so I have to you know discover explore more to find the perfect country for me to move to because then I'm going to stick here mm -mm. so yeah and I also got the experience to be more independent to live on my own 
and stuff so to conclude I would say if you are willing to enjoy travel get to know other cultures people languages um, whatever you want to do be more independent um, while not still moving to another country permanently if you get the chance to be an exchange student do that like for sure 10 out of 10 recommended it was a very very nice experience so I would recommend that to everyone okay yeah so let me finish um, so I feel like I talked the whole video and I think I did my best to tell you shortly how my experience was if you have any questions for me how did the process go or something um, you can send a DM for sure I would tell you more about that or any tips you want um, or if I should do a video on that if there are multiple people asking for that I would do that um, but yeah so I'm going with this necklace um, for school I only do one necklace I have my simple earrings here um, I'm going to put on my jeans and my sneakers and then I'm going to head out oh I'm going to show you what's in my bag too also thinking about what's next basically I'm going to finish my um, degree in finance I do finance and control here at the University of Curacao and um, to be very honest I don't know like of course I will finish my degree but I don't know still um, what's the career path for me so I'm still trying to figure that out because I really love the marketing too but we will figure that out for sure by the time I graduate and yeah so I have um, like two years left and yeah everything will be good and work out great okay so I have these jeans I really bought this for school but it's really cute so I did go out with it too I mean it's not made for school really but yeah okay so I'm going to put this on I'm going with this shirt because it's my basic school tee okay so it's a low waist kind of white jeans and it's from Zara it's very cute I love it so this is my fit and I'm going to I think I'm going with a basic tote bag wait so I wanted to show you this bag I bought it's so cute but I thought it was going to be a big tote bag to go to school with It doesn't even fit, so I have to hold it like this. It also has like the long, um, I don't know, like to wear it like here and with the long arm, yeah. So um, this is just for going out, it's not for school because my laptop doesn't even fit in here. But I'm going with this one, which is a tote bag from Art of Velde University, which is the university I attended while in Belgium. And I'm going to have my wallet. Mm -hmm. um, normally, I go to school with um, a notebook, but in Belgium, I realized people don't even do that. So I didn't do it, and um, I got used to, to just work on my laptop. So that's what I'm going to do this semester here. I'm going to have at least like this. I don't know if you call it tea packs also in English. I'm not sure, but I'm going to have a pen too. Yeah, so that's it. I don't think I need a calculator. Maybe because we have bank or economics class, I think. So I'm going with this too. Yeah. So this is my three items that I'm going to put in here. And of course, I'm bringing my lap laptop. I'm going to put it in this case. Oh, I forgot I had this. Um, I have the pencils, like it's in like the Apple pencil, but it's not. So I have it in here too. And I'm going with my laptop charger too. Look at this cute case I have for my charger. 
it's um, a set so the laptop case and this is the same just in different sizes and I'm going to wear my new balance <sighs> the fact that I had to wash these and I didn't it's embarrassing because I really wanted to um, wash them before school starts but that did not happen okay so I'm ready to head out Ooh. this is my fit with my bag here so this is my fit mm -hmm. very cute in this bag cute okay so it was really really nice talking to you and this was also a different type of video but if you would love more about my experience or if you have specific questions send me on my instagram and also for the um, city hopping series i talked about watch the videos on my tiktok and also my instagram highlights because you will see a lot there about the city hopping and stuff and Maybe you will see a city you loved and that you can plan to visit in the future or something. Don't forget to follow me on all my other platforms um, because I'm also active everywhere. And um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Okay? See you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.